Hello, beautiful Sagittarius. We're here with your love reading. So let's see. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the collective. Please be sure to check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius, here's your energy right here. First card out of the deck, the Ten of Fire. She looks like she's hanging love notes on the wall. <laughs> but the fire, the fire, very something passionate, maybe something from a memory that's like weighing on you. The Queen of Water, you are feeling a deep sense of love. But the Ten of Fire can also mean giving up a burden. Ten of Wands is usually giving up a burden. You're having this Queen of Water energy, Sag, feeling very loving, thinking about somebody, reminiscing maybe. Let's see, Page of Fire is how you see the situation. You want a new beginning, you want to communicate, you'd like to receive a note from somebody or hear from somebody, possibly somebody who's younger than you. But it could just be communication. How are you feeling about yourself right now? Temptation. You feel a little... Yeah, that's devil energy, Capricorn energy, Cancerian energy, Sagittarius energy. Temptation, though, tells me that you're feeling kind of compulsive about this. It's devil energy. You feel as though this person has tremendous value in the love department because we see the beautiful heart there. It's almost like, you know, when we look at the Devil card, we're looking at the energy of feeling stuck. You know, when we look at the Rider Waite deck, you have the bride and groom, you know, standing next to each other with the Devil behind them. And they both have chains that are loose enough to take off. So it is sort of a form of self-imprisonment, um, obsession or obsessive thoughts. It isn't inherently bad. We all have that, you know, it's strong desire. There's layers and levels of it, so. But you're really feeling like you can't really give up on the thoughts of this person and why? Because they were your happy place. Sun card, Leo energy. The sun card's the happiest card in the deck. It's beautiful energy. You felt like when you were with this person, it was the best time of your life, perhaps. And you know, who wouldn't feel really drawn to that really that's a tough memory to overcome right ten of water is how you view the situation going forward what we see here in your heart space is this is tremendously heated energy of joy and happiness ten of water is the happiest marriage card in the deck it means happily ever after so if you are married to this person it looks as though things, you feel that things will turn out very well, but there could be some other issues in the relationship. For many of you, this is, you know, desiring somebody right now, currently. You desire how you view the situation is that you'd like to be married to them because you feel as though they would always make you happy. That's Piscean energy, um, Neptunian energy seeing things through rose-colored glasses, but quite majestic and very real. Happiness is intangible, right? So what's a hidden energy here for you, Sag? What's beneath the surface? Okay. The tower card in this deck is very different because in most decks, when we see the tower, we see a building that is collapsing. We do not see that in this card. This tower card really speaks to the fact that you're very stable. You want to have the continuity of something that's very spiritual. But it also means that when we think of the tower, we think of stability and that you are very insistent on stability. When the tower is coming down, we know that it's restructuring. So right now, I see this energy as very much stable, um, that you do want to reinvent, though, in some way. You, you don't want the tower to fall, but you do want to have something that helps you go from this energy of the devil energy into something that feels more stable for you. 
you may have had a tower in the in the past collapse for you but we'll clarify it okay so let's see what we have here what is spirits advice for a beautiful sages at this time spirits advice is oh allow yourself to love ace of love ace of water in the emotions water sign energy new love okay so for many of you this is somebody that you've just met and then the outcome is respect your ability to take care of yourself your outcome for the short term is that you're going to remain single in terms of not married that's how we're looking at this this is not to preclude this at all but basically you are going to stay stable nine of pentacles energy virgo energy very solid energy and so virgo energy is all about you know continuing to be stable no matter you know you're not the person who's going to miss work because you're fantasizing about this person we do see this mask or veil, you know, kind of around her head and over her eyes. So let's go ahead and clarify. But I like this energy. This is very solid energy. Let's see what it is here that is making you feel uh, this burning sense of passion that's burdensome. <laughs> because that's what it is. It looks like the temptation. That It's very difficult almost to deal with your attractiveness to this person. So let's clarify these cards for you. The Ace of Coins, you want an offer from them. You want to make an offer to them. Temperance card, you want to come together with them. You also want it to be very balanced. Look at this. For those of you who may be in separation from somebody, this means reconciliation. You want them to come back and give you an offer and relieve this burden. The Page of Fire, what about this message possibly, or Page, oh, Page of Cups. So you may be dealing with somebody, when you look at this card, it's like when pigs fly. So you don't necessarily really think this is going to happen. The way you're looking at this is you know what you want, you're not going to become destabilized by any of this, but you feel skeptical that this person can bring it. Okay. What's this, why is the temptation card here? Oh, You're having remorse and regret. Ah, oh, somebody was disingenuous with you. Somebody lied to you. It looks as though they may have promised to be there for you because we see the Sun card and the Six of Pentacles. They were going to give you more. They made promises they, they, they didn't keep. And that's why we have the clarification of, you know, they came in with this offer, sort of like a little passionate, fiery offer. You thought that it was more stable than it is. You thought that they were coming in with temperance energy, but they came in with page energy. They convinced you, and you're not that easy to convince because you're very grounded. So there was something about the attraction of this person that was magnificent. No wonder you see this as devil energy and you have remorse and regret. There is a part of you that really regrets having trusted this person. But we also see the dove, you know, spirit. You also trust in spirit allowing you to, to have new love and to be able to trust in new love. You know that spirit is still protecting you. Let's see why we have the ten of water here for you. The Ten of Water is happily ever after it. In the Rider weight, it is a woman and a man with their arms wrapped around each other. Uh, quote, quote, unquote, marital bliss as described in the 1600s. <laughs> so it can be anybody, obviously. It can be anybody. It doesn't, it isn't masculine, feminine, other than energy. But let's see. We have, you view this person as somebody who just can't deliver or maybe can't deliver you very much will cut anybody out of your life who doesn't put, deliver on their promises or who, who gives you false hope you don't have time for it this is Libra energy judge Judy energy as I call it 
Judge Judy, for those of you who may not be familiar with the term, is a judge who always spots liars in the courtroom and calls them out immediately and does not buy into anything. So your energy here is, yes, you still want happily ever after, but you are on the lookout. You're on the lookout for what you perceive as lying energy. Okay, so now what's hidden is your person is coming in. Ooh, that's very interesting. Okay, so here's what I get. The clarification for the Tower card is that you were very shocked that this person came in as though they were an emperor. And you feel defensive right now because you feel as though they were a player. So that's where the lie comes in. You feel as though lying is childish, that that was disingenuous, that was not fair, it wasn't honest. You know, disingenuous is not probably a word I should use. It's like fake. You know, you feel as though they just lied to you to make you feel good. Disingenuous. Genuous would be very honest. Disingenuous is a feeling of dishonesty. So, um, Ace of Water. Why is Spirit telling you to love? Well, Spirit says that if you want to get to the Two of Cups, you have to have the Ace of Cups. So Spirit's saying, you know, you have to learn to trust yourself to walk away when somebody doesn't deserve your attention for a long-term relationship. That if you want to fall in love and have the Two of Cups, you have to be able to walk away from anybody who serves you a betrayal. And so why would Spirit tell us this? Let's look at that. Why would Spirit tell us this in this particular reading? Why is this message here for you? The Eight of Cups. Okay, so this is really good. I like this. This is beautiful advice from Spirit saying that if you do not walk away from somebody who stabs you in the back, even if you get to the point where you have the Two of Cups, the relationship will still be sabotaged and you would later have the Eight of Cups and walk away anyway. So Spirit is saying, stay steady, know what you know, follow the truth, not just your emotions, and stay single until somebody proves to you they can be the Ten of Cups. So now let's look and clarify that, okay? So let's see. Oh, good. Okay. So Spirit is just saying, you know, there's to keep your wits about you. This King and Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Swords says that you're very balanced, that you know the truth, that that is what has made you so successful. You always know how to determine what has value. Sagittarius, you are the ruler of the ninth house, which is law, which is in many ways spiritually, you know, what is the truth? So it's like you have a very good BS detector. And what we're seeing here is spirit is saying, absolutely use your intellect. Use your practicality, use your intellect, you know, that you are going to find love no matter what, Sag, because the Two of Cups is here. Now, we're going to look at the person for whom you came to the reading to, to look at. We're going to look at their energy briefly here. So what do we see here? How is this person... Where's this offer, if any? The Ten of Fire. Why is this person having, giving you sort of this feeling of Ten of Fire energy? How do they play into this devil energy? There you go. The offer they made you, you thought was a very honest, straightforward offer, but now we have the devil. This is a devil card, okay? This is remorse and regret. This caused you a burden. There was a lie here, but we're going to look. Queen of Water, why did you fall so hard? Well, they were absolutely beautiful, handsome, good-looking. They spoke, they treated you probably with more affection than you've ever received. They love-bombed you. Now, they want to come back in here. So, let's see. Six of Cups. They reminded you, or they might have been a person from the past who wants to reconcile with you. Okay, we're going to look at why you think when pigs fly this will happen. The lover's card. You feel as though they won't choose you. 
because the lover's card means a choice. It's also soulmate energy. Okay. Oops. The energy that says that how they, they played you, they came in acting like the emperor and they were a player and that's what the lie was about. The temptation was all of this, how beautiful, how love bombed they made you feel. And yet, you know, now you have remorse and regret. So let's look at that. Yep, Eight of Cups. You, you are walking away. Here's the problem. This person's coming back in. They're going to come back in, possibly by Valentine's Day. Oh, I hate this. It's just flipped over in my hand. Look at They're coming back in. All Mr. Lance Romance with Seven of Swords energy. What are you going to do with that? Okay. Well, we're just going to look at that. Ah, but now, oh, I love it when those cards pop out like that. Neptunian energy. They can't fool you. They don't have you underwater anymore. You're, you're not howling at the moon. You know what the truth is. The whole truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. When we get the moon card reversed, you clearly see as clear as day instead of delusion of night, okay? Under cover of night. I like that energy for you. Okay, what about your tower here? <laughs> Remember I said that I thought they crossed the tower upright? We have that, but you had the strength to keep your tower Oh my gosh, okay. So we get this real, the kind of bad tower next to the tower that is you. They are, they are no match for you. This person has nothing on you. You are so stable. You are so rock solid. Leo energy, Aries energy, Aries energy. See, this person has a big old fat chess piece. They know how to play. They're a player. Even, oh man, okay, so. What we have now is we now have the clarification. The Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups, you are having, you are choosing to have self-imposed restriction with the King of Wands. Okay, so we have Leo energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Look at this energy. Nine of Cup, Nine of, Nine of Pentacles is clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. Whatever they have to say to you, you're not really into it. It's like, really? Really? That's really what you're going to say to me? And the Four of Swords says that you just sort of go back to your home. You really don't allow them in. You go back and heal. Okay, so now I am going to take this to the extended for those who might want to join me there to see. This looks very twin flamey to me in many ways. There's a lot of uh, echoing here of this person coming back. So for those who might want to join me in the extended, please uh, do so. And we will look deep, more deeply into what they're going to do because we see that they're coming back. So I will... Um, pick up some of these cards in the extended to reshuffle and really focus solely on them. Since we know how you feel, we know what your reaction is. Let's see how this develops further. So sending you love from Chicago, send some back and tell me where you're from. Everybody take care.